Hey guys, I'm Alistair from Trail and Kale, the website designed to help you run your best. That's through our training plans, our running 101 advice, and running shoe reviews just like this one. And this is my Saucony Ride 17 review. So off the bat then, been running in them now for a little bit. What do I feel like? Well, I guess the best way for me to describe them is really, in a way, they're named what they're called, the ride. I mean, it feels like you're going for a Sunday ride, you know, bike ride type thing, taking it easy, um, just having a good time, not worrying about anything. Uh, and that's what they feel like. I mean, definitely I would put them in the daily trainer category. Uh, some people might enjoy them for tempo running as well, but definitely for me they fit into that, you know, daily running style of jog. I'm just hiding behind this tree right now because it is super windy and I'm hoping you can hear what I'm saying. Uh, sandwich between a dog park and a tree that dogs probably pee on all the time. So a little bit undignified, but I'm doing that for you guys. Now, when it comes to fit, I feel like it has a really nice medium width fit to it. Now, if you do have wide feet, there is a wide version available for you guys as well. Now they cost $140, which I think is very reasonable for this running shoe. Uh, they have an eight millimeter drop from heel to toe and they weigh 10.2 ounces. So for a daily trainer like this, I would say that weight is very much in line with the competition when you look at other running shoes right now. And I'm gonna list a competition in the description down below uh, to other shoes that I reviewed this year that feel very similar to the Ride 17. And then finally, when it comes to support and cushioning, well, firstly, they have a neutral support, so there's no additional support for those who have pronation, pronation issues or anything like that. Um, and it feels very good to me. Uh, the cushioning, now Saucony says they are their softest midsole yet, and super plush. And while they are very nice and plush, I wouldn't call them super plush or max cushioning or anything like that. They've got a nice responsive feel and just enough cushioning to make them feel cloud-like when you're running in them. If you're enjoying this Saucony Ride 17 review, please give it a like, share it with a friend if you think it'll be helpful for them, um, and consider subscribing to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. Also, I want you to comment down below if you have been running in the Ride series of running shoes before, or maybe the Triumphs. I wanna get your take on what you think about both of those shoes. Time to jump into what's really nice about the Saucony Ride 17. Firstly, I guess, it'd be the nice plush upper. All over here, you can see the collar, look how much padding there is, and the tongue as well. And even the heel counter. It's super soft, um, and it's also very breathable. The lacing system is very traditional in style, um, but you can get a really nice fit with this lacing setup. And also, I do enjoy this little loop at the back. Uh, that makes them really easy to slip on. Um, a lot of shoes kind of miss that out. You, mo you mainly find them on trail running shoes nowadays. Um, but yes, yeah, so the upper, super plush, straight out of the box, they feel great. And hopefully I conveyed that when I first put them on on a clip earlier on. Next thing I really like is the midsole. It is medium cushioning in the midsole and it's got a semi-plush feel, it just feels really nice. It's how you would describe, you know, going for a ride or a run, a nice easy jog. And I like the stack height as well. The eight millimeter drop feels really good. I also really like how they look. I mean, it's just got a really nice kind of silhouette to it. And then finally, you can't ignore that $140 price point. That's super good value for money. Let's go over some of the things that I feel could be improved in the next version. And let's start with performance. Like I said before, they are very much a daily trainer, so don't expect too much more than that. Uh, I guess you could use them as a tempo shoe, but I wouldn't personally recommend it. Stick to your daily uh, bagging of miles with these shoes. Uh, that's really what they're best for. I feel like there's not much response in the midsole. You know, there's not much propulsion going on. Uh, that could be improved. 
Uh, even maybe if it had a little bit of a rocker silhouette to it, I feel like my stride would be a little bit more efficient, a little bit more bouncy and fun. So other than that, they are a really solid shoe. And uh, like I said before, $140, you can't go wrong for your daily trainer. Now, if you've been running in the Saucony Ride Series for a while, then you know what I'm talking about. You know how it feels. And there's probably a reason you've been buying it over and over. I want to know, let me know in the comments if that's you. I want to know what you love about the ride so much and why you choose to ride over to Triumph. Are they worth the money? Yeah, I just said yes, they are definitely worth the money. If you're looking for a daily trainer, just to bag those easy miles, uh, then you can't really go wrong. The eight millimeter drop and the medium plush response cushioning feels really good. Uh, I wouldn't recommend taking them on anything too speedy, like tempo runs or speed work or anything like that. It's not really what they're designed for in my opinion. Let me know if that's a shoe you're looking for and I can uh, put some recommendations down in the description for you. Other than that, thanks for watching this review. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it, share it with a friend and consider subscribing to this channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.